Good morning, brothers and sisters. This is Brother Joe, and I'm so glad you joined me for the Lord's Word of God today. And so today's message is about Jesus, Yeshua. That's how you say Jesus in Hebrew. And our Lord and Savior, Jesus, is kind, loving, mighty, powerful. He was here before the creation of anything. And as you know, he came to die on the cross for the sins of the world. And so today we're going to look into the reason why he did that for you and me. So if you brought your Bibles today, please turn to the book of 1 Peter chapter 1. And we'll start reading verse 17. And if you call on the Father who without partiality judges according to each one's work, conduct yourself throughout the time of your stay here in fear, knowing that you were not redeemed with corruptible things like silver or gold from your aimless conduct received by tradition from your fathers, but with the precious blood of Christ. Amen, brothers and sisters. We were redeemed by the precious blood of Christ. Jesus, Yeshua, came to redeem man back to God. And so the next passage we will look at is found in the book of Titus, chapter 2, and we'll start reading verse 11. For the grace of God that brings salvation has appeared to all men, teaching us that denying ungodliness and the worldly lust, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in the present age, looking for the blessed hope and glorious appearing of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us, that he might redeem us from every lawless deed and purify for himself his own special people, zealous for good works. His own special people. Now, brothers and sisters, we know that the Israelites, the Jews are the chosen people. And here he's talking about all nations being his own special people. You see, there's the first covenant, which is when the Israelites were forced to obey and worship God Almighty. And he said, they are my special people as long as they obey me. But over and over and over, they commit what's called harlotry. You see, God told Moses to tell them, do not be unevenly yoked. Do not go and commit adultery with the Canaanite women or any other nation. Do not marry with them. Because he knew that they worshiped pagan gods, fake gods. And they would cause the Israelites to do the same. But the Israelites did not obey God. And they committed adultery with those women. And they had sex with them and they had children. And they worshiped their idols. They wanted their cake and eat it too. They wanted to worship God Almighty and they wanted to worship the calf and whatever else fake God came their way over and over and over. And God would forgive them. But they would continue to do it over and over. Up to the point, if you read in 2 Kings chapter 25, the last book in Kings, you will see that God is fed up with them. And he abandons them. And the king then, King Zedekiah, is forced to watch his children die in front of him by the hands of King Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon. Why? Because God allowed it to happen. Because God had given up on the Israelites. Because they continued to sin over and over. He no longer cared. And then he allowed King Zedekiah 
to have his eyes taken out. You see how upset he was? He allowed the Chaldeans to destroy the temple, his house, God's house. You think he's not mad to the extent of abandoning them? He did for 400 years. And then what? He decides to send his only begotten son to come incarnated in human form to die a painful suffering death for your sins and mine so that we could be saved. But why? Why? So we could continue to sin? Do you know there's people out there that believe that Jesus came to die so we could continue to sin? How ludicrous is that? How ridiculous is that? Would you do that? No. He did that so we would not sin. And the only way we can do that is to have the Holy Spirit in us. Because the Holy Ghost has power over sin. And Jesus came. And he was crucified and was buried and rose. And left the Comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, to come inside of us. And as it says in Philippians, we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. And so we have that power in us if you're saved today. If you believe that Jesus came, incarnated in human form, and died for your sins and mine, was buried, arose, and ascended to the heavens to be with the Father, and you have repented of your sinful ways, you have changed your sinful ways, and are filled with the Holy Spirit, you are saved today and have power over sin. So anytime the devil tempts you, you rebuke him in Jesus' name, and he will flee. Because there's power in the name of Jesus. And there's power in the Holy Ghost. Amen? Amen. So we just praise God. Praise Yeshua. For that power that he has left us with. Because he died for your sins and mine. So that we would have that power. That capability. To conquer sin. Because Jesus conquered sin. And part of Jesus is inside you if you have the Holy Spirit today. So keep your spirits up and keep working towards that heavenly righteous crown that God has waiting for you. Amen? Amen. Look at it this way. You know, when you go to school, you're a youngster and... Your parents send you to school. You don't have a choice. They make you go to school, right? That was the first covenant. The Israelites were forced to obey God, to worship God. They were forced to. But the new covenant is like after you get done with school, you have a choice whether to go to college or not. The new covenant is you have a choice to accept Jesus in your heart and to follow him. To follow him is to take him as your master, your teacher, your example. Believe his doctrine and obey him. And so we have a choice to do that. Just like going to college. But brothers and sisters, he paid the price for our salvation so we could have the Holy Spirit and we could conquer sin with the power of the Holy Spirit and be righteous and live holy, be holy as he is holy as he tells us and to be able to be with our Lord and Savior forever and ever. We have to pay those school fees back you understand? So, brothers and sisters, always follow the footsteps of Jesus, and all will be well with you.